my family, Christina Maria, back with another video. Man. <laughs> Satanic ritual abuse and what it is like. If you have a weak stomach, I suggest you move on to another video that might be more appealing. Such as, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever is on YouTube, go for it. Um... You are definitely on the weird side of YouTube watching this video, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> gonna talk about satanic ritual abuse and what it is like um, from a woman's perspective. Woman, not like M A N W O M B A N. Just want to clarify that. Um, so please understand. Times one that anyway, so <laughs> um, satanic ritual abuse as a female. I've mentioned it in a video before, it is that gross, yes. And we're going to talk about it. We're all adults, and it is the year 2020 perfect vision. And if you haven't um, been able to see at this point, then there is no point in you watching this video at all, <laughs> like, it is just no point. Um, satanic ritual abuse as a woman um, is pure hell. Um, a woman like myself, uh, I'm just going to get down to the nitty gritty. We're going to talk about some gross stuff. I know there's some males that are probably going to watch this video going, oh no! Um, and there's no gas. Are you fucking kidding me? And I'm on <laughs> Um, menstrual cycles. Um, I guess it's gross, I know, but we gotta put our big boy, big girl pants on, be adults, and, and talk about real shit. Um, these satanic ritual abusers worship things like menstrual cycles and try to claim it as their own. Um, it is a uh, spiritual hoopla that I'm not gonna get into. Uh, too much detail on that. <clears throat> um, but it starts with, um, we'll just use the Archons as a prime example, is where it really comes from. Um, these sickos, yes, worship things like menstrual cycles. A uh, per perfect example of satanic ritual abuse with uh, menstrual cycles. Um, if you ladies have ever heard of what is called the Diva Cup. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We're also going to talk about tampons, how they bloom into a flower um, once inserted um, and look a certain way. We're not going to get into too much detail because it's pretty, pretty gross going down that road. But this is the God honest truth. This is the type of people that we're dealing with. Uh, the Diva Cup. So if you knew what the terms and definition Diva actually stood for, it would make a lot more sense to you. Um, a lot of the tools that humans use are for actual satanic ritual abuse. And people are not aware and hold this knowledge because they don't do the research. Um, so, yes, there are a lot of disgusting things and tools that humans use, even buy for their children. I'll make another example. Uh, worshipping feces. <laughs> Human feces. So we have, yes, I said it. Um, this is the dark side of YouTube and the dark side of satanic ritual abuse. Yes, this is really real and it really is happening. So you have your poop pillows, poop emojis, poop toys, dolls that poop and pee and have glitter in their pee. And there's even a new toy that just came out recently where a doll pees glitter and a toy comes out of her hoo-ha. Um, this is unfortunately satanic ritual abuse. And it is conditioning of the mind um, while they sit there and enjoy um, who they truly are by infiltrating it through us. Um, it's disgusting. It's truly, truly disgusting. If people knew what they were doing to us without our awareness, we've just been walking around in a slumber like, oh, McDonald hamburger meat, I want a cheeseburger, even though it has probably human remains in it we're just gonna eat it and not know about it but now that we know 
you know, all hell's breaking. <laughs> but going back to what I was saying, what it's like being a woman and a targeted individual, a victim of MK Ultra is pure hell. Um, her feminine divine energy is um, perverted, uh, masqueraded to be consumed. Um, they feel the perps refer to themselves as handlers. What they really mean to say is they're, they don't want to be a handler for just the human being. They want to be the handler of the human being's energy, especially if they're a woman. They want to pervert her energy for her energy to serve their sexual desires and cravings. She becomes a basically uh, sex slave, monarch sex slave to serve her masters. They look at themselves as some really like 51 shades of gray kind of weird fucking masters of fucking i don't know it's like some weird snm satanic bullshit like i picture them wearing horns on their head with latex pants and baby oil all over their body it's gross um they're really sick individuals and this is where they find their power by stealing sexual energy which is like the most powerful energy in the fucking world that is you know created by a human being um this is a very important energy this is why there's so much perversion of that energy all over the freaking world um and people do not realize how important this energy is so how do they gain control over someone's sexual energy well just their energy period by perverting it um that's the whole point of like monarch programming to turn a woman into a sex kitten um hello illuminati <laughs> caught you red-handed assholes um, I'm not your little sex kitten. I'm a lion. <laughs> so, Monarch is basically sexy school um, for these perverts. And um, they do it to both male and female. And it usually starts at a young age with a child. And it's really, really disgusting stuff. The, the things that these perverts do uh, to human beings is just... It's, it's gross. It's really just disgusting. Um, but... <laughs> Once again, I know this is gross, you guys, but <laughs> as a woman, I don't even like talking about it. Like, eh, blah, 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 blah. um, tampons and stuff. Eh. <laughs> so, um, what it's like to be a TI um, who has a menstrual cycle as a woman. Um, my menstrual cycle is perverted. They practice a lot of satanic ritual abuse during my menstrual cycles. Um, it's getting way worse where I'm actually being, um, through remote neuro monitoring, um, not in the physical, um, but it's, to me, it's still the same fucking thing. Is it, is it a lesser crime to do it through technology? <laughs> like, um, I'm sexually assaulted through remote neuro monitoring, uh, with the use of this MK ultra technology during my menstrual cycles so they can perform their satanic ritual abuse and carry it, the energy throughout their, their technology to be consumed, um, as their own. And this is how MK ultra and this technology is, is used on a victim. It's very, very sick. Uh, this crime goes unseen, unheard of because nobody holds this knowledge because they don't know about it. They, no, I mean, when you hear MK Ultra, you're like, Britney Spears, Beyonce. Um, it's a lot deeper than that. Um, <laughs> a lot of people are misinformed, disinformed about uh, this technology, unfortunately. But I think it's coming to the surface and people are about to find out. Uh, but as a woman, as a targeted individual who is a victim of this crime, um, is the hardest thing you could ever experience in your life. And it is pure fucking hell. The torment is unrealistic. It's worse than any scary movie that you've ever encountered in your fucking life. It is literally... Hell is probably a vacation compared to this. That's how bad it is. Um, you're dealing with some sick... Some sick individuals. And... Um, they blame it all on the technology, basically. They blame it all on the technology. The technology is pretty much the core and network of their whole spill, their whole shebang... And all they got to do is send triggers with words, thoughts, and press buttons, basically, uh, to instigate and narrate the victim into a whole spill of just shenanigans so they can receive all that information, data, and energy into the AI, artificial intelligence. So there it is, you guys. It's gross stuff, but it is the truth. I can vouch. <laughs> I can testify 
uh, true story. Um, the shit is really happening across the globe, and these people behind this technology, honestly, um, need to be put down like fucking dogs. They really do. They really need to be put down like fucking dogs, because that's exactly what they act like. They act like fucking animals, and they need to be put down. So, praying every day that this happens, that they get busted, and, um, you know, the military and our government steps up to the plate and says, you know, enough is enough. But until then, you guys stay strong in the battlefield and don't give up.